Good morning, grade four students. Mr. Waterman here in today's language arts lesson in period two on Thursday, October 29th, 2020. So let's continue. I hope all of you are continuing to stay safe and healthy at this time. Now, we are going to be finishing up the activities in the Around the Pond workbook. We're working on pages 164 today. We're going to go from 164, 165, 166, and 167. If you pay very close attention, the activities should not take you very long at all, okay? Let's begin. First, we're going to be working on page 164. We are looking at spelling words with double consonants, right? So for this activity, this is a spelling spree, and it says, write the spelling word that answers each riddle, okay? Let's go through our spelling words first. Number one, bell. Number two, off. Number three, all. Number four, mess. Number five, add. Number six, hill. Number seven, well. Number eight, egg. Number nine, will. Number 10, grass. Okay, now let's look at the clues. Please listen as I read each one. You can hear me ring. What am I? You must clean me up. What am I? If you drop me, my shell will break. What am I? Climb up me. Roll back down. What am I? Water me to keep me green. What am I? Use a bucket to get my water. What am I? Okay, now, for this activity, I not only want you to write the spelling word, but I want you to write a sentence with it, okay? So I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. I'm going to do the first one with you. You can hear me ring. What am I? Looking at my spelling words, I know that is a bell. So I'm going to cross bell out. What am I? I am a bell. So please write a sentence for each one. And I'm going to put a box around the word bell since that's one of my spelling words. Okay, please do the others on your own. Let's look at page 165. Now, this is our vocabulary skill, multiple meaning words, meaning words that have more than one meaning. What do you mean? Read the two meanings for each word, then, Write a sentence for each meaning. For example, can. A can is something that soup comes in. The word can means to be able to do something. Now let's look at the example sentences. I will open the can. Mary can read hard books. Now, let's look at the words that have more than one meaning. Watch. A watch is a small clock worn on the wrist. To watch means to look at something. Tie. A tie is something men wear. 
To tie means to fasten or close up something. Bark. Bark is what dogs do. Bark is the covering on a tree. Okay. Now, please watch how I make an example sentence using the word watch. This is just an example to give you an idea. Remember, you can come up with your own sentences when you do this activity. Okay. Number one. I'm going to say Mr. Waterman bought a new watch from Swatch. Okay, do you see how I have used the word watch in this sentence? I used the first meaning. A watch is a small clock worn on the wrist. I'll put a box around my spelling word. There we go. Now, watch as I write a new sentence for the other meaning of watch. Do you like to watch the sunset at the beach? This is a question, so I need a question mark. This time, I have used the meaning to watch means to look at something, okay? And there you have it. This is how I would like you to write sentences for these words, two different sentences, because there are two different meanings for each word, okay? Remember, these are just Mr. Waterman's examples. Please change these out to make your own sentences for each meaning of the word watch. Okay, moving right along, we'll go to page 166. This is our phonics review. Consonant clusters, R, L, and S. This is called blend the sounds. Here's our word bank. Let's read through the words. Write each word in the box under the picture whose name begins with the same sound. Then write two other words that begin with the same sound. Okay? Let's look at our words in the word bank. Trip, stop, planting, fly, dry, sniff. Okay? Now, you have different pictures here. Okay? Let's look at the pictures that you have. Picture number one, what is this? Hint, it's an instrument you can play. How about picture number two? We can see this flying outside of our school. What is it? Picture number three. We can see this in the sky at night. Picture number four. Parks have many of these. Picture number five. The airport has so many of these. And picture 
Number six. Ooh, sometimes these can be very dangerous and poisonous. So let's look at the beginnings of each of these pictures. They could be TR, ST, PL, FL, DR, SN. Okay. Now, looking at picture number one, going back to it, this is an instrument that we can play. Drum. D R U M. Okay. Now, what you need to do is you need to write two more words that have the same sound. Okay, we have dr, dr, so dry, d-r-y, drum, d-r-u-m. Okay, and that's what you're doing for this activity. All right, so as I go through one sound, I just put a little check mark above it so I can make sure that I'm not going to use that one again. Okay, let's do one more. Pitch number two, if you guessed flag, F-L, F-L-A-G, that is correct. And please write two more words that have the same F-L sound. I'm going to put a check mark over fly, F-L-Y, flag, F-L-A-G. And that's all you need to do for this activity, okay? Now, moving along to page 167, the last page for the day. This is a proofreading and writing activity. Spelling words with double consonants, okay? Proofreading, circle four spelling words that are spelled wrong, then write each word correctly, okay? Let's go through the spelling words again. Number one, bell. Number two, off. Number three, all. Number four, mess. Number five, add. Number six, hill. Number seven, well. Number eight, egg. Number nine, will. Number 10, grass. Okay? Please listen as I read this letter, as I'm reading, read along with me, and try to find the mistakes. Dear Grandma, today I walked to the pond with three friends. We all sang as we walked. We passed some workers. They were deciding on where to add more paths to the pond. We had fun watching a group of baby birds fly oof. We also saw a tiny blue egg in a nest. Soon a bird will hatch from it. Love, Maria. Did you find the four mistakes? If you did, circle them, okay? Now, not only are you going to circle the mistake, but you're going to write the sentence correctly. So let's do one together. Dear Grandma, no mistakes. Today, I walked to the pond with three friends. No mistakes. We all sang as we walked. Well, there's my first mistake. All, A-L-L-L, -L -L, three L's. Check that off. And now I'm going to rewrite the line correctly. We all sang as we walked. There you go. And I'll put a circle around all. And that's all you have to do for this activity. Okay? As an extra activity, here's what you can do. You can write a letter, 
on a separate piece of paper. Write a letter to someone in your family. Tell them what you would like to see or do at the pond. You can use the words from your spelling list. And that's all we have for today. That's our language arts lesson. Thank you very much, students. I hope you all are safe and well. Please study very hard. And remember, you can email me at any time. Have a great day and happy studying. Bye-bye.